What is something? Something is something that is not nothing. And now we all know why I did not write the dictionary. The simple questions are the hardest ones to answer. That's what true a lot of the time, thing? actually. Why do things happen? And why do they happen the way they do? Let's try to approach this step by step. What are you made of? You are matter, Stuff. which is made of molecules, which are made of atoms. Okay, yeah. And those are made of elementary particles. Uh huh. But if elementary particles are the smallest things that exist, what are what they, are they made, made of? What are they made of? Hmm. I see where this video is going. It gets even more complicated when you start yeah, asking so why. Question. Let's start simply. Let's wipe the universe clean away with matter, antimatter, radiation particles, anything. Now let's take a closer look but at But what is anything? Nothing. What is empty space? Is it what we call a vacuum? Well, there it wouldn't no be atoms, empty if we could no look matter, at it, because we'd be nothing. there. Is it really all that empty? Nothing gives us the building blocks for everything. In a sense, empty space is a lot like a vast, calm ocean. While the water is very... This video is just going to mess with my mind, mind isn't it? <laughs> it some serious waves. Our universe works a lot like this. There are these oceans everywhere. Physicists call them fields. Mm -hmm. This might be strange and new, but think about radiation, for example. By exciting what's known as the electromagnetic field, a little kink is created, which is the particle we call the photon. The it's like a 3D wave, radiation. right? Because the fields this are three-dimensional. They're not just like a 2D blanket like they're often sweat. depicted. But they're 3D throughout all of space. Matter, all with their own rules. For example, along with the electromagnetic field, there is an electron field everywhere in the universe, and little kinks in that field are electrons. Mm -hmm. Altogether, the fields of our universe can produce 17 particles, which can be divided into three categories. The leptons... What do you guys think? Is there one missing the in the bosons? Leptons consist of the electron as well as its cousins, muon and tau particles. Each has an associated... Yeah, and once again, when you start asking why, then why? Quarks. The quarks are the nuclear family of particles. Why are there fields? How are there fields? Where did they come from? What are they made of? Protons and neutrons, which make up the nuclei of atoms. Can you make Together, new fields? Can you take fields away? Quarks are the matter particles. They make up all the things you see. The air you breathe, the sun that warms you, the computer you're using right now to distract yep. yourself from the stuff you should be doing. <laughs> but things don't just... That hit exist. hard. <laughs> In some philosophical sense, the properties of a thing are just as much a part of it as existence itself. This is where the bosons and the fields that make them come into play. While the quarks and leptons are made by matter fields, the bosons yeah. are made by force fields. We call a rule of the universe a force, and so far, four fundamental forces have been discovered. Okay, yeah. Electromagnetism, gravity, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. These forces are the rule book of a game where the pieces are particles and the game is the universe. They tell I thought that they, they determined gravity wasn't a force. Bishops move diagonally. That is just an inherent property. Knights can jump. Or an emergent property of the bending of space-time. Forces are the rules for how particles. I could be wrong though. I'm not a scientist. Ultimately, make them the rules for how particles assemble into all the big things we see in the universe. Gravity isn't just the rule for orbits around the sun or apples falling from trees. Mm -hmm. As a rule, it says matter attracts, which builds planets and stars. Electromagnetism isn't just a rule for magnets attracting or repelling or electric currents in light bulbs. It governs all atomic bonds. If any one of these was slightly, just the teeniest, tiniest bit different, like the tinker toys of existence. existence as we know it would be totally different. Passed between, you could say, connecting the matter particles, which they use to tell each other how to move. Each particle uses a certain set of the forces to interact with other particles. Quarks, mm -hmm. for example, can interact with each other with electromagnetism and the strong nuclear force, but electrons don't use the strong force, just electromagnetism. Mm. The quarks exchange strong force bosons, communicating the strong nuclear attraction. To That's each quite other, interesting. The protons they build exchange particles. And then you got to remember that everything they're talking about, they're simplifying the down. Thus, the quarks end up locked up in nuclei. Our universe is crazy insane. Electric attraction, building atoms. 
Even though the universe has lots of big, messy phenomena like life, supernova, and computers that seem complex on the surface, if you zoom in far enough on anything, you just get 17 particles emerging from underlying fields playing a game with four rules. Mm. To summarize, yep. in the most basic form we know right now, this is what things are. Huh. This theory is what physicists call the standard model of particle physics. You are basically nothing more than disturbances on an ocean that's excited by energy and guided by forces that make up the rules of the universe. But why? And what is a force? But why? We'll have to explore <laughs> a few more simple questions to get to the bottom of this. We made some wallpapers from. Oh, you're not going to answer it, huh? But why? That's the that's the toughest question to answer that we probably will never have an answer for. It's just mind blowing. Wow. My brain is melting.